Good morning. It is a Monday morning and I it's my rest day today. So we are going to the shops to stock up on the necessities for out, throughout the week. Throughout the week, Shane and I honestly don't really plan too much until it starts coming closer to competition. Depending on how late our training session goes, we'll just quickly drop into the shops, grab some meat so that it doesn't go off throughout the week and we'll cook up a steak or you know we'll cook up something like chicken or whatever it is um, and that's been freshly bought that day from the supermarket but um, for breakfast for any snacks throughout the week and just like you know the fruits that we have throughout the week for snacking throughout training I'll um, try and get that you know at the beginning of the week throughout my rest day so that I can make sure I'm stocked up I'm making sure that I'm eating and feeling prepared throughout the week um, and then we'll take dinner as a case-by-case -case basis so these are um, some little like cheats that I have that you know by the end of the day you know if you get back from training late and you want something super convenient a pack of rice and this um, I actually found this through James when he was staying with us and it's um, got quite some good nutritious things in it it like you know is vegan friendly and it's just something that's super tasty and uh, you just pop it in the microwave or you know if you don't like using the microwave you put it on the stove you'll heat that up heat some um, cook up some rice and it's like super good um, and something that's like you know super convenient so they are some go-to's that I really like to keep in the cupboard um, for those late sessions that where I haven't prepared dinner or anything like that I really enjoy tacos and so I will um, you know whip up some tacos throughout the week um, not just because I really enjoy them but also because um, it's really convenient and easy to make um, and you can also add whatever you want so you know if you're lacking some um, you know particular vegetables that you should be having um, you can throw it all toss it all together and then wrap it up or have it in a taco shell and it's like a lot of fun um, and something yummy to eat um, but when it comes to the actual like seasoning there's so many different options these days and especially when it comes to like you know what kind of ingredients are being put in your product um, I like to make sure that I look at the ingredients on the back and compare the sachets so for me I'll always go with the ones that like I can read the instructions on the back if there starts to become um, you know numbers and things that I can't even pronounce then I'm like you know what I'm gonna just steer, steer clear of that and just try my very best to hit and use the um, one with the least amount of ingredients where it's more so just pure spices um, so this one's pretty good uh, it does have some cornstarch in it but it's pretty hard to avoid that um, and it's also everything in moderation so we're having this you know maybe once every two weeks or something like that so when it comes to the meats um, you know depending on what I feel like sometimes I may go like chicken mince or turkey mince where I'm looking for a lot more of a lean mint. Um, other times I'll just go for your pure, just um, ground beef. Um, so, you know, I like to hit the more 90% to 10% lean versus fat. Um, that you've also got like 85% to 15% fat. Um, I, I am conscious of it. I'm not super strict when it comes to that, but I am, I do try and consider the amount of fat versus lean ratio when it comes to the pack um, because fats is always good to have in your diet and it's something you know as an athlete uh, I like to implement just so that my body is getting the right amount of fats proteins and carbohydrates a sweet craving especially if I'm trying to be super healthy um, ex leading into those major competitions something that satisfies me is um, granola and yogurt now you know it's it's depending on like what that person wants to achieve throughout their life for me I'm okay with having a little bit of sugar here and there um, but I am also very conscious of the amount of um, 
like sugar I am putting into the body as well. So, you know, this is something that's super tasty. It's a granola pack and it has like dark chocolate and red berries in it. Um, I'll look on the ingredients and see what's actually in there. Um, I'm not gonna lie, there is definitely like sugar in your granola, hence why it tastes so delicious. And you could literally make your own granola by hand and, you know, and try and eliminate as much as that but um, for me for convenience I'll have like a pack of granola I might change it up depending on like what I'm feeling like and then I'll actually put um, yogurt with that and yogurt again depends on everyone else but I've really enjoyed the almond uh, oat yo wait almond or oat yogurt I'm gonna show you that a little bit later on when we um, go past the yogurt section. But that is something that's super tasty. Um, in, during breakfast, we'll uh, have some turkey bacon with our eggs um, and also our bagels. And so that's something, um, we change up our proteins, you know, like you get some, something from every like different protein. Um, so it's good to just change it up. I have been told that sometimes you want to stick to the one protein throughout the day um, because sometimes it can upset the stomach but I personally have never really um, noticed much of a difference whether I have turkey ba uh, bacon for breakfast and then you know chicken for lunch and meat for dinner um, Do you ever get regular bacon? I do I, I, I was born on uh, just regular bacon um, but Ever since moving to the States, uh, I've been a lot more conscious of what is in like the, the produce. So I've been always trying my best to stick to stuff that's as pure as, as it comes. And I find like the turkey bacon is something a little bit more healthier than the your typical um, bacon. And it's also got a lot less fat in it. Um, and also turkey bacon is very rare to come by when you're in Australia so it's just something that I've kind of st only started implementing throughout uh, my time here in the US. Another uh, pleasure of ours if you will is uh, caramelized popcorn. Shane definitely is someone that um, has really enjoyed popcorn and it's funny because he never really liked popcorn when we lived in Australia but since we've moved to the States um, he's really loved like the flavored popcorn so um, this like cookies and cream or like just your pure caramelized popcorn is like his go-to on like cheat day um, and something that he really really likes we literally will go to the movies just so that Shane can have caramelized popcorn um, so that is something that we will have if I'm trying to be a little bit more healthier I'll actually just cook popcorn up and pop it with, uh, I don't, yeah, just like the regular seeds. And I'll make sure that it's, you know, heated up like I made it from scratch and I'll just add some salt to it and I know that there's no preservatives or anything added to it. Um, and it's, you know, a, a nice healthy treat too. Um, and it just, you know, saves some of those cravings rather than indulging in something that's going to be a little bit uh, unhealthy. So eggs are the go-to. Um, we have them every morning. I like to make sure that they're not cracked or anything. And I like the um, cage-free ones. They actually do taste better. Um, we've, we've done a little experiment, if Shane was here to say. And uh, we've noticed a difference in the cage-free versus just the regular um, extra large Do you egg. always eat the whole egg? I'll always eat the whole egg. I went through, when I was doing weightlifting and I was counting my macros, and I was having to be very strict leading into a major competition, um, I ended up having to just have the egg whites because otherwise I'd be having too many fat, too much fat. Um, but for where I am in my, my life right now, my training, uh, the whole egg is good and um, something that, you know, I I had the whole thing of. This is the yogurt I was talking about. I'm really loving the almond milk. Um, vanilla flavor. 
and you know I'll explain at the very end of the video but you know I always do believe in like everything in moderation and it really does come down to like where you are in your life and what you're aiming for um, I obviously am not opposed to having um, a little bit of sugar and a little bit of um, indulging sweets but um, for the most part it is pretty healthy and I'm very conscious of what I'm actually purchasing and, and consuming uh, all right so I have also had these before which are like you know healthier choices of treats um, like dark chocolate peanut butter um, I've had some of the cashews that are dark chocolate salted caramels um, and these nuts obviously high in fats and stuff but they are a nice little treat um, what else have I had these kind bars well kind clusters they've also got like um, muesli bars of them and they we also found um, ice cream and that they were very very good but very hard to find so I think we found them in Walmart before um, and also Kroger but they're very hard to come by so uh, now I will obviously unload the groceries and everything um, again like I wanted to reiterate like throughout this uh, not everything is perfect in this bag where it's sugar-free um, and I'm very well aware of that again I can't express enough how important it is that when it comes to nutrition when it comes to you going shopping um, you really need to understand where you are in your world what your goals are and what you're trying to accomplish because if you are trying to lose weight um, and do that type of thing then the like having sugar having the unhealthy food is obviously not going to help but when in my life I am um, requiring you know a certain level of um, nutrition in my diet where it's a happy balance so that I'm able to produce the right amount of energy and everything and you know I'm not fueling the body on all sugar and just terrible food I'm trying to have wholesome food real food organic food that is going to help with my recovery so that I can back up training every single day guys Please leave your questions down in the comments below. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. It was a little different to what we've normally done in the past. Um, but welcome to Hennaford's uh, shopping market here in Lake Placid. Um, it's a great shop and something that we've been going to almost daily. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.